Hello, what's up everybody? This is B-Boy Tech back with another video of the wonderful show Money Mondays back with episode 5. Now I'm sorry about the noise in the background, that's just my AC unit going on. Uh, I'm sorry about that if you guys can hear that. I'm hoping you guys can't, but I'm sorry because it's been warm and stuff, so I'm just trying to keep cool here. Now, another thing I want to say sorry about is that this is going to be a late episode. So this will be kind of like a special episode in some type of way, it just being because it's a couple, uh, it's like four hours late than usual by the time that it comes out. But I've been with my girlfriend, so, but it will be coming out just like, like a normal video would without a premiere or anything like that. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. I, I'm sorry about it, but you know, at least I came back to go ahead and do this video for you guys all with episode number five of Types of Rewards, part one. So as you can see over on this side here, there is a few different ones we're gonna talk about. Paid to watch, paid to post, paid to download, and paid to shop, and paid to scan. So we're gonna talk about five different ones in this video here. Uh, get, you know, I guess that makes sense. Five for episode five. <laughs> All right. So now that that joke was out of the way, I hope everyone's staying safe as well too. And let's get into this episode of Money Mondays with your host, B-Boy Tech. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about is paid to watch. Now this is what everyone should know about, but they might not know about it. It is usually either in the form of passive and non-passive. And it's literally as it says, you get paid to watch advertisements and maybe have a video under, after it. So, you know, web, website companies will do it as well as applications will go in and do it as well too. And I guess I'm, I have my TV in the background with a Raspberry Pi hooked up to it. So right now you're seeing the light from both of it. All right, there we go. It's kind of better with having in my background. You can just, uh, well, you can see kind of my glasses with different colors, but I'm just looking at that while I'm doing this video. But paid to watch means, you know, InstaGC has their own paid to watch where you literally watch videos and you get points. It's as simple as that. Um, again, there can be a form of passive or non-passive or semi-passive where you can leave it for a couple hours and come back and then you might have to do something again. So, um, that is basically the one, well, one of the ones where you can see both passive and non-passive. It's one of the main ones for seeing that. There's another one of them kind of on this list that I would consider as well too, but we're going to get to that as soon as we get to that one. But, pay to watch, you know, you, it could show an advertisement, you watch an advertisement and you watch a video. You, it might depend on how many videos you watch, that's how many points you get. It might be after every single video you get points like Perk was. Alright, now we're going to go in and talk about pay to post. Now, paid to post, I haven't really seen that many anymore. There's one that I've been testing. I haven't tested it in a while during this whole COVID, but I tested it a little bit before. I'm going to be testing it again to see if they do pay. You know, expect a payment proof video once I figure out. But paid to post would be, you know, like you're using an application like Facebook and you're getting paid every time you post information to it. Now, yes, there'll be advertisements throughout the web, website or application, and that's how they make money. And that's how you make money in return. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one here. Pay to download. So, this is another one where I consider both is 
could be in a form of... Sorry, give me a moment. My InstaGC was crashing on my old Mac. There we go. Um, distraction. Life of a phone farmer. You get distracted even on a video. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you know, you get to see it, the struggle live of me working on a computer, which I was thinking about doing tech videos sometime, so maybe you guys might enjoy seeing that as well, too. So plan on that coming out as well too. But uh, paid to download is another one where I would consider as you can see in both um, the passive world and the semi-passive, well, no, semi-passive world and the non-passive world. There we go. Now, the other one, paid to watch, you can see in all three. So, um, semi-passive, non-passive, and passive. Uh, paid to download, you're mostly going to see in semi-passive or non-passive mode. And that basically means, paid to download basically means that you download an application, you might have to use it for a bit, and you get paid. Now in the, uh, semi-passive, but I would consider that to be, is you download it and every 15 minutes it pays you and then it might change after a while and then it might turn into not worth it so you have to go back and download a new application. So then that way they make money and you make money in the process as well too. And then, you know, it's an okay way to make money. It could, you know, it could be quite a bit of money. It could be a little less of money just depends how much you do it, of it and which one you use semi-passive non-passive version of the do paid to downloads now you can use both or you could use one you can use multiple different apps that are paid to download on multiple different phones and just figure out what works for you um, it is found on both iOS and Android most of these are usually found on both iOS and Android now, let's go ahead and get into the paid to shop category. So as you would know, that would be basically, as it sounds like, you go to an online application or a website and you get paid money based on how much you spend. Now, I wanted to talk about also the paid to scan with this one. That's why I included that one. I was thinking, I'm only going to talk about four, and I look at it, I'm like, I should talk about five because I'm talking about paid to shop. Now, paid to scan, let's go ahead and talk about that as well, too. Let's go ahead and touch what that is. You get paid to scan receipts. So you take your phone, your camera from your phone. This is a bad example because it has two cameras, but you know what I mean. You take a picture, you... Put your receipt underneath it. So let's presume this is a receipt. And it's an iPod, so not really. But this is a receipt. You take the phone, scan it with your app, and submit it. And you get paid. So that would be what paid to scan is. You get paid to scan your receipts. So both of these, paid to shop and paid to scan, can go together because sometimes the pay to scan will allow you to submit online receipts and make money that way as well too. So both of them can combine together which is cool. Now you're not going to get the same amount of money as one for the other but pay to scan you usually don't get as much as pay to shop I'm pretty sure but uh, both of them though have the same thing combined. Um, you get paid money, well, not really paid money, you get money back on each item you spend. So you spend money to make a little bit of money for gift cards and stuff like that, so it returns money back into your pocket, unless if you find a way to get multiple, let's say, receipts for free, don't suggest doing this, but if you do, you could do it. Um, 
I don't suggest doing it, but if you find a way, go ahead and do it, and then, you know, maybe someone supplies you with some receipts and you scan them. So again, that, you know, if you have a grandparents that, you know, don't want to scan their receipts, or you have a mom, your mom and your dad doesn't want to scan their receipts, then go ahead and scan theirs, you know. Now, yes, that would be part of their terms of service, so you could also just create them an account on, like, another phone and, you know, pretend like you're them. Don't suggest doing this as well, too, but you could. So then that way you get some of the money as well, too. But, you know, you could just be like, you know, hey, I'll scan your receipts. And, you know, some people might do that. So again, paid to shop, paid to scan, I would consider both of them as non-passive. Maybe the paid to shop because, but yet again, sometimes you have to go to the actual website to get that active, so then that way you can go in and get that money. So this will be another short episode. I'm sorry about making them quite short on you guys. So I hope you guys did like the video though. If you did like it, go in and put that like button. Hopefully next time I won't have the AC unit on, so then that way you guys can hear me a little bit better. That's why I'm going to be shouting a little bit, so then you guys can hear me. But hopefully I get this video out for you guys pretty soon. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, press stop recording, add it to one of my video things that I put the video in, and then I, you know add my intro and stuff like that and then I toss it on YouTube right after I well I'll make the thumbnail while the other one is exploiting ex not exploiting exporting the video there we go all right well if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a like you know the other button works too but who likes to be a jerk and click that button you know if you are you can go ahead and click that button Click the subscribe button, go ahead and click on the notification one, so then that way you can find out where, when more Money Mondays come out. I also have a payment proof video coming soon as well too. I got paid for my application, I'm planning on editing it and putting that out all for you all as well too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out.